Hi. Let's discuss the solution of the given question. Here the question is if the set x equals to, they have given expression 4 power n minus 3 n minus 1 where n belongs to n and the set y equal to multiples of 9, 9 into n minus 1 where n belongs to capital N, where capital N is the set of natural numbers, then find x union y. Here our task is to calculate x union y. In the given question clearly the set y equal to multiples of 9, whereas the set x we can't decide now. Simply they have given an expression that is 4 power n minus 3 n minus 1. Now let's simplify this expression and then we will decide the nature of the set x. Let's start the solution. Solution. Take the expression 4 power n minus 3 n minus 1. It's an application of binomial theorem. Already we knew. So which is equals to 4 can be written as 1 plus 3 whole power n minus 3 n minus 1. So it is in the form of a binomial expansion. That is x plus y whole power n. If you take binomial expansion x plus y whole power n equals to nc0 first term x power n plus nc1 into x power n minus 1 into y plus nc2 x power n minus 2 into y square last term plus ncn into y power n x power n minus 1 becomes x power 0 which is equals to 1 y, y power n remains this is the binomial expansion now let's apply the binomial expansion for 1 plus 3 whole power n here simply this is x1 y is 3 so in the next step which is equals to here simply nc0 means 1 only 1 next 1 plus here the next second term here x means x equal to 1 1 power n only 1 only so next term 3 nc nc1 into here x is nothing but every time 1 only not less to write better to write y only nc1 into 3 plus nc2 into 3 square there is no x term y x equals to 1 only next plus nc3 into 3 cube plus 1 plus ncn ncn means 1 only this is 3 power n clearly in the next step which is equals to yeah after expanding there is a two more terms are there minus 3n is there minus 1 is there so which is equals to 1 plus ncn equals to n n into 3 3n plus nc2 nc2 you can keep it as 3 square can be written as 9 so here there is a 3 square here there is a 3 cube here there is a 3 power n from all these terms i can take 3 square as a common 3 square equals to 9 so 9 into here 3 square out. What does remain here? nc2 plus nc3 into 3 square out. What does remain? 3 only. Plus 1 plus last term 3 power n. 3 square is out. 3 power n minus 2 remains. 3 power n minus 2 remains. Next minus 3 n remain minus 1. This is the second term and last term. Last term is minus 1. Now in the next step which is equal to it's a very easy question. 1 1 gets cancelled. Minus 3 n minus 3 n gets cancelled which is equal to 9 into sum you can treat as or uh, you can treat as nc2 plus nc3 into 3 plus 1 some k so which is also multiple of k or otherwise you can write as it is and leave it as it is plus nc3 into 3 plus 1 plus 3 power n minus 2 this is what the set x clearly from this we can conclude the set x contains multiples of 9 but not all multiples of 9 Keep in mind, see some multiples of 9. So if you take here, suppose if you take the set y, put n equals to 1, 0 you are getting. And next put n equals to 2, 2 minus 1, 9 you are getting. Next immediately put n equals to 3, 3 18 you are getting. There is a sequence of multiples of 9. So each and every multiple we are getting. But whereas in the set x we are not getting. So x contains multiples of 9 but not all multiples of 9 whereas y contains all multiples of 9. So clearly we can conclude that here x is a subset of y. x is a subset of y. Now easily you can calculate x union y. So x union y equal to since x is a subset of what is the bigger set y. So x union y equal to y. This is the required conclusion. Now Let's compare with the given options. What are the given options here? The first one is n. Incorrect. Second one, y minus x. This is also incorrect. 
third one x this is incorrect fourth one is y this is the correct option at last what is the process we applied here simply we applied the concept of binomial theorem they have given some expression 4 power n minus 3 and minus 1 so it can be written as 1 plus 3 whole power n minus 3 and minus 1 here i applied the concept of x plus y whole power n that is the binomial theorem concept so thanks for watching all the best